Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be turning this old dingy storage basket into a new gorgeous storage basket. And here you can see Tigger really wanted some pets, so I paused what I was doing and I gave him all the pets because he deserves them. This storage basket is actually my Aunt Marley's, and when my mom and I went to go visit her, we noticed that it needed some loving, so my aunt let us um, take it home and do whatever we wanted to it. So here my mom and I are taking the leather straps out and then the screws and the hinges to um, start working on it. one of these screws was so hard to take out this one would not come off as much as we tried so i ended up having to tape around that before spray painting it and then this one we eventually got off this is the spray paint i ended up using and i will leave the link to it in the description box if any of you ended up liking this color um, if you end up using spray paint make sure you're outside in a well ventilated area because it is not good for your lungs if you spray paint inside so just a warning I think I spray painted two coats on this and it ended up looking very nice I love this color the color is called fossil so for the cushion lid I ended up buying this gorgeous fabric that I found at Joanne Fabrics called Dewdrop Mineral and it's a cotton canvas. I ended up picking the, the lid of the spray paint and I brought it inside the store to make sure it matched the spray paint color for the bottom half of the, fab the, the storage basket. And this is just me using a staple gun and stapling the fabric onto the cushion and this is actually the first time I've ever used a staple gun my mom came and gave me some pointers here and there but it was a lot of fun and I am definitely excited to use a staple gun more in the future I was so excited to get this done and the edges were a little hard to do but my mom stepped in and gave me some pointers and told me what to cut and how to fold the edges so she was super helpful in this project and I'm so thankful that I have her to teach me stuff like this she is a pro she's done this so many times she's reupholstered so many chairs in her life and she's just an artist so this has been a really fun project to do and just kind of see her working and teaching me and I just feel so thankful to have her to teach me how to do things. After a few days, the basket was dry and it was time to put the hinges back on and then the lid. So as you can see, I kind of made a mistake. I should have 
measured out where the holes were before stapling the fabric onto the cushion and that is okay everybody makes mistakes so my husband ended up coming to help me screw these hinges back on and he did a great job it's it was a little crooked but not like a crazy amount of crooked that you would notice but i'm thankful that he was able to help me and we got the lid on I didn't like how the staples were exposed, so I ended up hot gluing some leftover ribbons that I found onto the staples, and I thought it looked really cute and gave it a little nice touch. So my mom taught me this, but apparently if you have ribbon that has some fringe at the end to seal it you just take a match and you light the ends so that you kind of seal it and there's no more fringe here's what the inside of the basket looked like when we were all finished i thought it looked so cute it turned out amazing um, nothing too crazy i like that we ended up using neutral colors nothing that stands out crazy but the blue in the middle the flowers ended up being a perfect little touch a pop of color and most importantly my aunt ended up loving this so this was her little birthday gift and I'm so happy she liked it. If you stuck around till the end, thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe, like, comment. I hope to see you in the next one.